Minions and intruders have different rules for injury. A minion who is stunned or wounded is placed prone and must use an action to attempt to recover. If successful, they get back on their feet. If they fail, they might flee or die, leaving a body marker. A minion who is knocked out or killed is immediately removed from play and replaced by a body marker. Intruders keep track of their injuries on their agent profiles. A stun halves the intruder's actions, but he can attempt to shake off the stun using the rest action. If you are stunned and then suffer a subsequent stun, you are knocked out. A wound halves the intruder's movement. This is a lingering injury and can only be removed by proper medical attention, either in the form of a first aid kit or a trip to the infirmary. If you are wounded, and suffer a subsequent wound, you are killed. So first aid is something you should take very seriously. If an intruder is knocked out, his figure is placed prone, and he must successfully recover in order to get up. Prone intruders are experts at playing possum, so they effectively become hidden while lying on the floor. Death for intruders isn't necessarily permanent. An intruder who receives a fatal injury is sent to the prison. His equipment is put into the storeroom and all his injuries are healed. However, he incurs a nasty time penalty for being captured and must attempt to escape from the detention facility without any of his toys. To avoid some of these penalties, it is sometimes necessary for the intruder to surrender. He is still sent to prison but avoids running down the clock. Surrendering is also a quick way to get to the end of the base. Getting the drop on an enemy is critical. Every agent in the game has a four square kill zone extending along his line of sight. If an enemy enters your kill zone, they must make a successful reaction roll. If they fail, their turn ends immediately. Any unused actions are lost and they are lined up for you to eliminate them on your next turn. However, entering a kill zone can be an important tactical decision. A successful reaction roll gives you a free action even if you've already performed two actions on that turn. A courageous agent can use this to his advantage and eliminate multiple enemies in the same turn. If you are adjacent to an enemy agent, you can attack them using the fight action. You roll three dice. One success will stun your opponent. Two or more will knock them out. Fighting is preferred by many intruders because it is silent. However, if you fail your fight roll, your opponent gets a free fight action and can hit you back. Shooting is noisy and deadly. As green alert, a single shoot action from either side will put six alarm markers on the monitor. You roll a number of dice according to the range. Three at short, two at medium and one at long. A single success will wound your target. Two successes causes a wound and a knockout. Three successes are fatal. In addition to gun-toting spies, the other harmful element in the base is traps. The power of traps increases as the base alert state goes up. So you're probably thinking, if intruders wind up in prison when they're fatally injured, where's the threat? Well, this game is all about free will over determinism. If your agent takes a fatal bullet, you have to ask yourself, can my team afford to lose 10 minutes from the mission timer? If it's getting close to doomsday, you might have to make the ultimate sacrifice. But hey, at least you died trying. <laughs>